everyone. I hope everyone is having a great week so far and can you believe that July is almost over? Pretty soon, uh, kids will be back in school and for us teachers, we will go back as well. I actually go back on August the 11th, so it's right around the corner. But I wanted to show you uh, today some things I've been doing this summer that pertain to my Midori and my Ray Dory, and I'll show you um, how I'm using them and some things I use in my, um, both of them, actually. Um, now, let's get a couple things straight. I am not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I do photography and I knit, but as far as drawing and sketching, you'll see. Just not me, but you know what? I've really um, come to enjoy it and it is relaxing to me. And another cool thing is I'm able to use um, my Midori kind of as a scrapbook slash um, smash book. I used a scrapbook years ago and got, um, got away from that as Amanda got older and I ran out of time. So let's take a look at uh, my Ray Dory and my Midori and some things that I use in them. This is my Ray Dory and there's a video um, on my channel um, about uh, my unboxing and how I have it set up. Now since that video, I have added one extra notebook. Um, I now have four in here. I have field notes um, here, which you can just see I'm just doodling um, here. I've got a grocery list and my in-laws are coming. So I was trying to plan out some meals, um, my to-do list. Um, you know, this is uh, Dawn paper. It's a grid plus line. You can tell I've kind of gotten a little bit of ADD and did my grocery list in one and then my meal plan in the other. Um, another field notes, uh, Country Fair line. This is the Florida one. And then I am, um, this is the one that came with it. This is Ray Dory's. It's just line. It's, it came from Ray. I'm sorry. And it's just lined paper. And I really haven't gone into this one to using this one yet to figure out um, what I'm going to do with it. But I do have a little bit of a setup um, for now. Um, once school gets started, this one may just become one that goes in my bag and becomes like a work one uh, where notes uh, that I need to keep for meetings and different students and things I need to do, um, you know, will be stored. So I have a feeling that this one, that's what this one uh, will become. Now, I am considering ordering one from Chic Sparrow. Um, she has some beautiful, um, beautiful ones, but I'm going to um, get, let school get started first and see how things uh, progress. So that's the Ray Dory one, and he uh, engraved it for me, and I'll link the video um, about this one uh, below. Now, this one is my Midori Traveler's Notebook. It is a real Midori. Um, I ordered it from Amazon. Uh, I did change the cord, and you can see my charm. It's the knitting needles and yarn. Uh, and then the charm down here is uh, my um, palm tree since I am in Florida. So y'all have seen this one before, but let me show you what I've been doing in it since then, or since the first one. I have added just some washi, um, to the notebook cover just to make it a little less plain and i this one is the lined one and i have it clipped here i have the pages clipped just so i know where to start and this one is just my journal um when i feel like actually writing something down um this is where i put it so yep just regular regular journal pages uh some things that i've stuck in that i want to remember some very bad drawings of starbucks uh coffee or Trenta cups, um, but yeah, that's what I use this one for. And then this one is the one that's blank, and you can tell. I just you can see I just added a little more washi to the outside. And this is where I've done a little more um, drawings, um, different things. This is my currently list. I probably should update that one for the end of the month. Uh, see, that's just July first, so it'll be interesting to see when I sit down to do it what the whole month has looked like. Um, this is Independence Day. This is just a pretty um, image of um, some sheep and some fog that was on the Vogue Knitting Facebook site. Um, just some doodles, a uh, couple of um, quotes that I ran across, uh, or one is my Facebook status when I was having a hard time. Uh, not getting the job that I thought that I wanted before I got the one that I am starting uh, in a couple of weeks, so that makes me excited. And I have some more of these little mini binder clips. I got these um, at Office Depot. These are just the little ones. And they, mine come in a uh, can, and there's, I think, 60 of them in there. Uh, so they're good to have around. I use them to clip my pages down when I need them to dry flat. 
You can see I'm just doodling using my watercolors. Um, this is one of my favorite pages. This is uh, Le Macaron. Le Macaron. I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, my husband is obsessed with these. Um, I accidentally got him <laughs> down this road uh, about a year or so ago. I had wanted uh, had wanted to stop for so long, and my husband kept saying, "No, no, 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 no." I said, "Come on, we're just downtown. We're real close. Let's go." So we did, and I got a box of six. And, which was this. This is the very first box. This is an Instagram photo. Um, and he became obsessed. He loved them. This is, um, I, these two. This was a Belgi Belgian dark chocolate and this was a caramel salted butter. And every couple of weeks he will go. He will get a box of a dozen and six of each of those. And it, he is, he, it, he's a creature of habit. Um, and the funny thing is, is that now when I go in there, I don't get any. He does, uh, but this is, uh, I came across a receipt and a couple of business cards and uh, my photo that I had printed at uh, Printstagram and just couldn't resist and since this is such a part of our life all the time, um, I wanted to do a page about that. And this was just a Project Life card that I described um, what it is and then this is flips up to say cute. And that was one of the first times I tried to use my watercolors and some Mod Podge, which you can tell has taken out anything on the receipt. So I don't know if I'll use it on receipts again. Uh, this is another um, the, another page. This was some photos that I found uh, that are a couple of years old. Actually, my daughter graduated in 2012, and this is one of my favorite photos I took of that day. This was after graduation. We were back at home before we headed out to dinner. And uh, she was just so happy and being silly that um, this is just my favorite photo of that day. And uh, this is when she was in my old classroom. Um, she was hiding. She saw me take a picture. This was after school one day. She came over uh, before we um, headed home and hung out with me for a little bit. And then this is a photo of her and her dad um, at Five Guys before she left for college. She really, really loved going to Five Guys. And we still do. We don't go as often anymore. Um, but it was such a fun day. And I have it clipped down just because it was um, a wash of watercolor on the back and I wanted to keep it to dry flat. And these happen to be her high school colors and currently her college colors because she goes to the University of Florida. And for now that is the last thing in here. I'm going to work on it, uh, work on something else tonight after dinner. Um, we flip over here. This is the craft um, paper um, booklet. I don't know what to do with this. I would like to see some of your ideas. I've just used this one um, to use some washi tape and to put some things in that I've printed off, like this little picture of a sheet. Um, and it's kind of just becoming a catch-all. I need to um, put this in there. This was a card that was given, a Starbucks card that was given to me after I uh, shot some photos for a friend of mine. And then this is a, lamin I laminated this after I printed this grid or this guide off of um, Ray Blake's site, My Life All in One Place. Um, to use um, should I want to write on the blank pages. But I don't know what to do with this booklet. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered it, but if you guys have any ideas, just link them below or comment below, and I would love to see um, what you do with them because I don't want it to go to waste. I want to be able to use it. And then this last booklet is one I made. Um, I just printed off again from Ray Blake's site, MyLifeAllInOnePlace.com some lined paper and I used um, a piece of cardstock that I had just to make a cover and I did not staple this or attach this in any way. I just folded it in half, added a rubber band and attached it um, to this. Now I have since purchased uh, some more elastic uh, to make more bands but for now this is, this is working. So this is my, um, right now, what I have in my Midori Traveler's Notebook, the original size. Um, I would love to see yours, uh, so link below or leave me a comment. Um, I'd like to go check out uh, new people, uh, people's videos. It gives me some great inspiration. Um, so I'm going to show you really quickly some things that I use to decorate um, them, my travel notebooks with. This is, um, these two actually. Our portable watercolor palettes. Um, I have had these for years when and when I took an art class a long time ago. This one I use all this is the one that I use all the time. It's great, it's very small, it stick 
Okay, sorry about that. Um, husband and dog came in from work, so um, I had to stop filming for a minute, but I believe I was getting ready to show you um, the watercolors that I use, and I actually, and since the last part of the video, I worked on a different, another page, but so I can show you what I use. This is just a, um, a travel, let me see, see here, um, from Windsor and Newton. This is just like a little travel um, watercolor set. And it comes with um, these little half pans and a brush, and this actually pulls out and will uh, attach here, should you be holding it. But I just usually have something sitting here. <coughs> and another one that I have that I've not used, and I've had it for a while, is another one by um, Windsor and Newton. And I think this is one meant for, I think both of these are meant for um, field painting. I don't know if that's the exact, uh, or plain air painting. I don't know if that's the correct term. But this one's kind of cool because you pull the top off here and then you open it up and you have uh, these little, oops, little half pan came out. These little things, I guess, for mixing colors and you have some half pans here. You have a little sponge. This comes out, it is, um, a little water holder and then this is a um, little get this open a little paintbrush so you have an all ready to go watercolor um, travel size uh, set which I think is awesome like I said I ha you can tell I haven't used these yet even though I've had these for absolutely ever um, I go through spurts with things about um, having some stuff and just don't use them but these are the two main ones that I use and I do have a set of watercolors um, back under my desk but these are just easier to um, oops, pull out and um, mess with other than you know rather than grabbing the whole um, my set that has things that are these little tubes are that size so these are the watercolor sets that I use so there you go there and then glue stick um, and you can see this is the page that uh, I, I worked on last night. The, for the first time, I actually used some of this uh, Liquitex Gesso um, to prep the pages. And um, I, the jury is still out on them. It did make the color stay quite vibrantly. Um, I had grabbed this little uh, uh, turquoise uh, watercolor and use what I thought was just a little bit of it and it came out so dark but it's so pretty which is a nice backdrop for um, my journaling of the bridges that um, I take photos of. This one gets taken, this is a bridge, um, every Sunday we go to church we cross this bridge and I take a photo looking west every single Sunday. Um, it's just kind of one of those things I started doing and people start looking forward to it. And this is um, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge which is my absolute favorite bridge ever. It connects Pinellas and Manatee Counties crossing the Tampa Bay and I take photo of it every single time I go over it as well assuming I'm not driving mind you um, but this is just one of my favorite photos I use kind of like um I don't remember what app it was it may have been pick tap go it could have been hipstamatic I don't know it's one of them but I had these printed out and um you know I just wanted to journal um, those a little bit and ended up having skipped the page so I just threw a green wash down oops and I will um Come up with something later for it but yeah so those are the things the watercolors that i use and i always carry this um pencil case or pen case um with me this was brought back from peru uh by my daughter this summer hand woven um by one of the hand weaving or the weaving um cummings or studios down there in, outside of, or in Cusco, Peru. And in there you can see I just have all sorts of pens, mainly the Le Pens. I have a watercolor um, pen that's filled, a uh, brush that's filled with water. This is an old uh, Rotring, uh, Rot Rotring, I don't know how you pronounce that, um, fountain pen, which it's not my favorite. I would rather have my Lammies and I'll do another video on all my Lammies later. Uh, there's some Micron pens in here. There's some um, Coletto multi-pans in here. And oh, here's a hint about these high tech Coletto's multi-pans. If you see anyone selling these for an outrageous amount of money uh, on Facebook or eBay, you can go to jetpens.com and buy these, the barrels for under $5. And then you can buy the, um, 
the refills. So if you see someone selling them for a ridiculous amount of money, just go to Jet Pens and buy a new one. I'll put the link below. I love Jet Pens. I have used them for years. This one is one, two, three. This is a three barrel or three color one. And I have a five color one somewhere, but I'm not sure if it's in here or not. But I love these. Um, they are they are awesome. They're they're a great little pen. And um, if you did the one book July, this would have been a great pen to use because you get one pen, but you have three colors or five colors, whichever uh, barrel you get. Uh, this is my Lamy, um, my pink one. This is an extra. Or this is a fine nib, and I think I've got purple ink in there. What else? And then I have some of these gelatos that I purchased um, and have messed with them a little bit, but not a whole lot so i'm looking forward to um fooling around with those as well so this is one of my pencil cases or pen cases i have a couple more that are in my purse that are just regular like um, gel pens that i use every day for you know just work stuff so that is what um is in my pen case and that is a look at my midori what's in my midori these days um what i'm doing what i'm uh, journaling um this this blank page, blank book has actually turned into more of my little scrapbook slash smash book type thing, which is awesome because I don't usually, or I haven't in a while or in years really done any scrapbooking. So that's nice to have one notebook in my Midori that is um, dedicated to that kind of stuff. And then also to be able to have the different notebooks for different things. So hope you guys have a great day. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions or if you want to show me your, um, your Midoris, please feel free to link your video or blog or Instagram below. Um, I usually post all these photos uh, on my Instagram. Feel free to follow me. You can find me at Christy Clark on Instagram, at Christy Bell on Twitter, and on my blog at uh, www.kikimacconline.com, which needs to be updated desperately. So easier to find me on Twitter or Instagram. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.